Lesson 4.9, Multiply with 9. We can use several strategies to multiply with 9 as a factor. We can use the distributive property with multiplication and addition. We can use the distributive property with multiplication and subtraction. We can also use patterns of 9. Using the distributive property with multiplication and addition, 5 times 9 is equal to 5 times 5 plus 4, because 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. We can write 5 times 5 plus 5 times 4. 5 times 5 is equal to 25. We add that to 5 times 4, which is 20. 25 plus 20 is equal to 45. So we used multiplication and addition with the distributive property. Using the distributive property with multiplication and subtraction, we have 5 times 9, and it's equal to 5 times 10 minus 1, because 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. We can write 5 times 10 minus 5 times 1. We distribute the 5 to the 10 minus distributing the 5 to the 1. 5 times 10 is 50, minus 5 times 1 is 5, and 50 minus 5 is equal to 45. We were able to use the distributive property with multiplication and subtraction. We can use patterns of 9 to multiply with 9. Here we have the 9 times table starting from 9 times 1, going all the way to 9 times 10. Each tens place in the products is one less than the factor that is being multiplied by 9. We have zero tens, that's one less than this 1 as a factor. We have 110, that's one less than 2 as a factor. We have two tens, that's one less than 3 as a factor. 3 is one less than 4, 4 is one less than 5, see? All the way up. 5 is 1 less than 6. So we can use the patterns of 9, knowing that the tens place will be 1 less than the factor in the product. The products for 9 facts also have the pattern of the tens place going up by 1 more 10 and the ones place going down by 1 less. Here's the tens place. It starts at 0 because there's zero tens here and there's only nine ones. So we have a zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Each of the digits in the tens place are going up by one in order. And if you look at the ones place, they're going down by one less. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. There's even another pattern the digits for the product of 9 from 0 to 10 will equal 9 when added together. We have 0 tens and we have a 9. 9 is equal to 9. We have 1 10 and 8 1. These digits, the 1 and the 8, when added together will equal a 9. And the digits 2 plus 7 will equal a 9. The digits 3 plus 6 will equal a 9. 4 plus 5 is equal to 9, and it continues on, even up to 9 times 10. We add the two digits together, and they'll equal 9. If you're trying to do 9 times 6, and you accidentally write 53, you'll know it's not the right answer, because a 5 and a 3 would not equal 9. It would have to be the 5 and the 4, see? We can use our two open hands to find products of 9. We bend the finger for the factor we are multiplying by 9. So for multiplying 9 times 4, we bend the fourth finger from the left. You count 1, 2, 3, 4, because we're doing 9 times 4, and we would bend that finger, the fourth finger. Once the fourth finger is bent, the fingers on the left side of the bent figure, finger will represent the amount of tens in the product, and the fingers on the right side of the bent 
figure will represent the amount of ones in the product. So here, this one would be bent down, and we have one, two, three fingers on the left side, so that would be three tens, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six on the right side, that would be the ones, so we have three tens and six ones. Nine times four is equal to 36. We can try it with nine times six. We would count one, two, three, four, five, so this would be the sixth finger. We would bend this finger down, and we would count how many are on this side, on the left side of the bent finger. We have one, two, three, four, five, so we have five tens, and we have one, two, three, four ones. Five tens and four ones is equal to 54, so nine times six is equal to 54. And you can try this yourself. And it doesn't matter if your hands are turned, like my picture, or if you've got the thumb down. It might be easier to bend the finger, whichever finger you're bending down. Whatever you're multiplying as a factor, whatever that factor is times 9, this is the finger that would go down. So 9 times 6, we put down the sixth finger. We have 5 tens and 4 ones. A bakery has 60 cupcakes for sale. Emma and two of her friends each buy nine cupcakes. How many cupcakes does the bakery have left to sell? So what do we need to find? We need to find how many cupcakes are still in the bakery after Emma and her two friends bought nine each. Emma and two friends, that's three people. They bought nine each, so we multiply three times nine to find the total amount of cupcakes they bought. We subtract the product of 3 times 9 from the original 60 cupcakes. 60 minus 3 times 9. 3 times 9 is equal to 27, so we have 60 minus 27. That's equal to 33 cupcakes left for the bakery to sell. We need to circle the symbol that makes the multiplication sentence true. We have 6 times 9, and we need to figure out if it's less than, greater than, or equal to 6 times 10 minus 1. Do you remember in the beginning of the video we used the distributive property with multiplication and subtraction? Well, 10 minus 1 is equal to 9, so this side is 6 times 9. And this side is 6 times 9. That means this 6 times 9 is equal to 6 times 10 minus 1. Let's try this one. We have 8 times 9. Is it less than, greater than, or equal to 8 times 4 plus 8 times 4? It looks like they broke apart one of the factors. We have the 8 still. They broke apart 9 as a 4 plus 4. Well, that's not right. That's not 9. That's 8. So 8 times 9, is it less than, greater than, or equal to 8 times 8? We have 8 groups of 9 here, and we have 8 groups of 8 on this side. So 8 groups of 9 is greater than eight groups of eight. You can try these strategies to multiply with nine using the distributive property with addition or subtraction, using the patterns of nine, and you can even try using your hands like we did here. I hope you're doing very well, and I'll see you for our next lesson. Bye.